Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. So today I'm going to be showing you guys my home hair station slash home salon, whatever you want to call it. Basically this is where I work whenever I'm working at my clients at home and I just wanted to share it with you guys. So I've shown you guys this setup briefly in a vlog that I did back in December, but I just wanted to give you guys a more in-depth tour. So as you guys can see, it's not really much to it. It's not even like a corner of the room. It's just this one little segment in this room, but it gets the job done. It's small but effective, and I don't know, I'm really proud of it, so I just wanted to show it to you guys today. So like I said, this is just a section of the room. Those speakers over there are part of my brother's section because he has a whole recording studio going on over here. So we always have to coordinate our appointments so that we're not both down here at the same time. So that's why that's randomly there. But this TV right here and this table and that section right there is basically it. <laughs> So yeah, let's get into this. So here we have the TV, and I don't know where the stand is from, it's pretty old. Um, it used to be my parents, but they got a bigger TV, so they got a bigger stand, so I took this one. But um, yeah, I don't know where it's from. But there's a TV, and I don't get any channels on it, but I have this Roku here. So, um, come on camera, don't do this to me, please focus. Anyway, I have Roku, so I have subscriptions to Netflix, Hulu, and Disney Plus, so my clients have a large selection for what they can watch while they're getting their hair done. And don't mind that, that's just my camera battery, I just needed it for this camera. Oh, and that box over there, if you guys saw the review that I did when I reviewed my Rev Air hair dryer, I mentioned how I have no place to store it because it's so big and clumsy. That's the box that I came in and I still keep it in there because it just takes up so much space so I don't know what to do with it, so that's where it stays, which I hate because it looks messy and it's amongst my brother's stuff, but it is what it is. So anyway, here we are in the main part of my salon. So this table, I don't know where it's from either. Someone actually gave it to my mom or she got it from somewhere and then she gave it to me. So I love it because it's really, really wide. There's a lot of surface area on it. And then she also got me this, what's the material called? I don't know what it's called, but it's just this plastic film and she just got it cut to the size of this table so that I don't have to worry about staining with color or anything and then it's just easy to wipe off and everything so I love that. Okay, so we're, we're gonna just start up here and this is just a shelf that just runs across the whole wall down here. So I just use it to store like my color stuff so it looks a little cluttered because it's just this little ledge. But um, over here, well, I have my little travel size Olaplex stuff there. Um, these are glitter hairsprays for whenever I do like special occasion hair. I have a random tube of lotion there, my applicator bottle, glue and glue remover, bobby pins, different lighteners, hair pins and rubber bands. A whole bunch of random stuff. It's mostly color stuff. Like I have some developers there. I really don't use these little tiny developers, but I have a lot of them because whenever I shop at Sally, sometimes if I buy um, color, like certain brands of color, they give you a free one of those. So. That's why I have those, but I usually buy the really big ones. Over here I have other lighteners that I really don't use anymore because I've fallen in love with these two brands. I love the Swatchkoff for regular highlights, and I love the Kenora Clay Lightener for doing balayage. And my camera's just playing the fool today. Focus. 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 Thank you. So those two lighteners I really just use whenever I'm lightening bundles or wigs or something, but I don't use them on people anymore. And then behind here I have a few more products that I barely use, it's like relaxer products and I really don't have a lot of relaxer clients so it just stays back there, it's not really, I don't need to get to it that often so it just stays behind there. So then down here as you can see I have a lot more products and I'm not going to get into all of them. I actually need to do a declutter and get rid of a lot of these because I'm a product junkie, I always buy a lot of new stuff just to try new stuff before getting rid of the old stuff so I have so much extra stuff like so many things that I don't need like have like five bottles of hairspray like too much stuff <clears throat> excuse me so yeah I have a lot of um, products there and then this is my barber side which I just noticed there's a clip in there I need to get that out um, these are just cases of things like these are pin curl clips um, thread for weave perm rods just like cases it's just the way I store it. I need to work on like finding better ways to store my stuff but like I said I have a small space and then over here I have my hand sanitizer spray from Bath and Body Works. This scent is sunshine and lemons. I'm sorry, my camera's just not focusing today, but it always is like that. And then I have these two dishes that I keep with candy, which I need to refill and I keep forgetting to buy more. But I like to fill it with the, oh, wow. I like to fill it with the um, 
fruity lifesavers because they're individually wrapped so I don't know just a nice thing to have and then I also get the minty ones for people who prefer the mint ones and then I just have these lollipops in here because I just had a lot of these so I just threw them in here because I didn't need all of them and then here I have my flyers and my business card you know just in case clients want to you know advertise for me or whatever they can take a couple of those I need to get an actual business card holder so I can put those in there it look a little bit neater right so moving on products 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 I have this big um, utensil bucket that I have brushes in which I don't like keeping them in here like that because brushes are supposed to be covered but I don't have enough space you'll see in a second but I store most of my brushes somewhere else and then this um, container here has all of my color brushes and then also these whisks for mixing color and then I have my case with my shears in there I have clippers here um, I have this clipper side or whatever you want to call it so this is basically just a spray on my blade so I use it for clippers and my scissors just to keep the blade sharp and it prevents them from rusting and it keeps them sanitized so in this jar right here I have all of my clips which I need to buy more of because recently all of them have been breaking on me. I guess I bought them all at the same time and they all last just as long I guess. But a lot of them have broken on me so I really don't have that many anymore and this is usually full to the brim with clips so I want to get some more. And then I have my spray bottle. I love how it sprays with the mist. Very very nice. And that's, that's my phone, not important. So there's a little drawer in here, it's very shallow so I can't hold much in here and it looks a little bit messy, you've been warned. But I mostly keep like hair jewelry and stuff in here for when I'm decorating braids, like stuff like that. Oh my goodness. I need to get a camera that focuses better or figure out the settings or something. But yeah, I just keep stuff like this to decorate hair. I have this wire thingy, I had it in gold also but I ran out of it. Um, I also have these which I love so these are little sleeves that you can put on your the arms of your glasses So if you have a client who has color processing in their hair They can still wear their glasses without them getting dirty so they don't have to worry about, worry about feeling blind just because their hair is getting color so I love that I also have my hand mirrors in there More hair stuff my crochet needles in there my braiding to um beading tools in there Just a bunch of random stuff also have my receipts that I need to put in an envelope. I like to keep my business receipts for tax season, you know. And then this little notepad is where I write down my color formula so that I can remember what color I've used on my clients previously. So now we're underneath and it looks, I mean I guess it doesn't look that bad but I wish it looked a little bit neater. I guess I just hate how everything is exposed but again, small space but we're making it work. Um, let me change the lighting so that you guys can see it better. It's still kind of dark, but you guys can see for the most part. So under here, I have this tray that I keep all of my hair washing things, you can call it. So I have shampoos, conditioners, um, um, what do you call it? Deep conditioner, different stuff like that. So I have different shampoos, and then I have a couple more back here. I have two more bottles that belong in here, but they're actually upstairs right now. But yeah, so just products, and then I have my developers down here, and I usually buy the really, really big gallons of developer in 20 and 30 volume, but the last time I went to the store, they only had these small ones, like, I never buy these small bottles, that's such a waste, but that was all they had. So there's that, and then I also have my barbicide, and then this zebra case back here is my train case, and then that's the top, so it's like those cases where you can put the makeup case on top of the big one. I don't use it that much anymore, but I used to use it because I also travel to people's houses to do hair. But now I use, you can't really see it, but there's a soft bag right here. So now I use that bag, and then inside I have another bag and different cases, so I just pack whatever size bag I need for that pro project. So it's just easier to carry than this big case. So I only use this for like big, big events, but usually I just carry those. And then here is some packs of braiding here that I just couldn't fit anywhere else, and that's my hair. And then this is my electric kettle for um, when I finish braids. And then you can't see, but behind this drawer I have pa plastic bags with more um, packs of hair in them, and those are each for specific clients because sometimes when I bring too much hair, they just leave it here and then I'll just use it on them next time. So I like to keep it separated from all my other hair because it's their hair, you know what I mean? So I don't just use it on everybody. 
So here I have these Sterilite drawers. Um, I want to get something prettier for under here, but I just already had these, so I just used these when I set this whole thing up and I just never replaced it. But um, I want to get something that you can't see through just because the first drawer is really, really messy. I'll show you guys, but it's kind of junky in here. So it's mostly um, hot tools, like my flat irons and some of my curling irons. Um, I have this hot brush thing, whatever it's called. And then I also have bags of product samples because I get a ton of samples when I go to trade shows or from shopping a lot at beauty supply stores. So I have so many in there. So I like to give them away to clients if I feel like they can use something that I have. But honestly, a lot of times I forget to give it to them. So I have so many samples in here that they've just been sitting in here. So that's what's in there. And then these bottom two drawers are all here. So this is all braiding here in different colors and then down here is more braiding here along with crochet here and a vast majority of my clients bring their own hair I really don't provide hair like that but um I just like to keep a lot of neutral colors so colors 1b and 2 I like to stock up on that for my clients but for the most part they bring their own so this hair is pretty much just mine I just store it under here because why not and then over here I just have my power strip looks a little messy but it's the best I can do because the outlet is all the way back there and that is too much work to get to so I have my TV and Roku plugged into there and also my ring light plugged in and then I use it for my blow dryer also so I don't know how I managed to forget to tell you guys about this but here is my chair this is my very first purchase for this entire setup it's been with me from the very very beginning since before I even got my cosmetology license and it's still holding strong I got this off of some seller on eBay I think I paid hundred and six dollars for it so not bad still holding up I just have to tighten it every now and then with Allen keys but still holding strong so I love this chair it's been with me for so long by the way guys I don't know what's going on with my voice today it is cracking it is hoarse I don't know what is wrong with me but I'm not getting sick so that's what counts so finally we are over here at this section right here so this caddy here is also one of my first purchases um, I think I actually got them the same day that I got the, the um, chair right over here so again I got it from eBay and it's just you know a stack of drawers so I'll start up here so this rack I got from Walmart and it's one of those racks that are used to go over your toilet in the bathroom and it was perfect because I wanted something to go over this caddy so it fits perfectly so up here is mostly color so I have this wristband that I use to keep like jam on my hands or hairpins or whatever and then I have wrap strips I have the comb attachment for my blow dryer and then everything else is just my semi-permanent color so they're all my fashion colors Joyco is my favorite brand, but then I also have um, Matrix and a little bit of Pravana, which I'm not really a huge fan of, but there's that. And then in this bin and this bin are my permanent colors. Well, actually, this one right here, let me show you guys. These are the colors that I use as toners. These Wella Color Charm ones are my favorite. It's just semi permanent colors. They're color refresh. And I love them for toners, but I think they're actually just continuing this entire line, so I'm really sad. I just overheard somebody at Cosmic Prof saying that, so I hope that's not true, but that's that. So anyway, yeah, so these are all my toners and some liquid colors, but yeah, that's that. And then in this bin right here are the permanent colors, and they're mostly Paul Mitchell colors. I use those more than anything. I have all my neutral colors, so they're all browns, and then a little bit of blonde and reds. So that's that, and then I have a couple more colors there that just didn't fit. So right next to this bin, I keep this balayage board, which I really don't use. I just bought one because I saw a lot of people using it on um, YouTube videos or in trade shows or whatever. So I got one for myself, but I actually don't like using them. And then I recently found out that they aren't even like considered professional to use those. Which makes sense because I find them really, really clumsy, but to each their own, you know? And then here I have these color bowls, and I hate that I store these like this, but I have nowhere else to put them. I actually want to reorganize everything and try and figure out more practical ways to store my stuff because I don't really like how this section over here looks, but there's that. I have my color bowls, and I have my um, measuring cup, and then I have the key in there for squeezing out colors. 
And then underneath here, I have this box of foils that's almost empty. And I bought this because they're pink. But they're almost empty. And then I have paper. Well, they're not foils, but you can use them as foils, but they're made out of paper. So I have that, and then I just have this box of rollers that I really don't use. I just had them for my kit when I was in school, so they just stay there, but I almost never use rollers. I really don't get clients who ask for washing sets because I really don't do that. And then over here, I have my Framar foils, and I love these foils because they're really, really sturdy, and it's a pretty good size for the most part it works on almost all my clients so i have a box of those and then i have my gloves and i usually like the frame art gloves also but the last time i went to buy some frame art were sold out because disposable gloves are really hard to come across now ever since covid so i got this other brand but i think frame art ones because they go like high up on your wrist but anyway so gloves are gloves so there's that and then i have the um plastic wrap for doing hair so it's like regular plastic wrap except it doesn't cling to itself so it's easier to work with for hair and then down on this last shelf is just my towels it's most of my towels but they don't all fit there because I have a lot of towels that go through a lot of towels but that's that so then onto this caddy I like how this has this little cutout section that my blow dryer could fit in and before I got this shelf I used to have it face the other way so the blow dryer was not in my way but it doesn't fit under here anymore so I have to turn it around and put it in front but it's okay so there's that and I like it because it rolls so I can move it out with me if I'm coloring somebody's hair because normally I would move the chair so that it's easier for me to work with but I don't because I like my clients to just be facing the TV the entire time so I like that I could just move this around with me and then this is a little container it's only here because I had nowhere else to put it my plan was to put it in the drawer over there but it's actually way too shallow so I just use it here and I just have these tools for cleaning my brushes and combs and random stuff in there and then I have these capes that don't usually stay there I usually put them on this shelf but I have some of my capes they just came out of the laundry and over here I keep my allen key for tightening the screws oops for tightening the screws on my chair so then there's five drawers in here so the first one is where I keep my combs so I have more of these little containers these organizers so I have my tail combs in this one then I have my hair cutting slash multi-purpose combs in that one and then the final one is just random other combs like my wide tooth comb teasing comb this one here is for doing coils I have a teasing brush in there, just different random stuff. And then up front here I have more blow dryer attachments and then also hair ties. And this next one, or these next two I should say, are just more brushes. So I have a lot of brushes, which is why I have those extra ones up there that I don't like keeping there, but I just don't have enough space down here. And then here I have more of my hot tools, so maybe I'll empty these into one of these drawers and then put those brushes down in here. I'll see. But I have curling irons and curling wands in here. And then this final drawer looks a hot mess. It's just random stuff. So we're not really going to get too into that. I have extra capes in here because I have a lot of capes because I try to wash them really often. And then I have processing caps. I have more of those caps in the back. Just random stuff. It's just messy. So let's, let's not. Let's, just don't. So we're pretty much at the end of this tour for the most part. Um, in this side section right here, I have my braiding rack, which is the rack that I keep my hair on. I keep the hair separated there for when I'm doing braids. And then this is my shampoo tray for washing clients so that it's possible to wash their hair at a regular sink and they can still be just as comfortable as being in a shampoo bowl. And then these are just some tubs of scrubs and lotions that I use for the pedicures that I rarely um, do but that's where I keep those and then I also keep this citrus too down here and I use that for sanitizing everything when I'm done because every time I have a client I would just go over everything with my with that spray and I would wipe down the table wipe down the chair wipe down the remotes I like to keep everything clean and sanitized and that was even before um, COVID I just like having everything clean and neat and then finally over here hanging I have more of my capes and also this is the apron that I wear whenever I'm doing color so that I don't get anything on my clothes and that's really pretty much it so right over here is my dad's desk and this is his filing cabinet but I selfishly use the top of it to um, store my extra towels and then these are the big balls of developer that I like to get but they're practically empty so that's that but um yeah that is pretty much 
everything that I have down here in my home salon. And I also have a hood dryer over there. Like I said, I'm downstairs in our basement, so don't mind everything else around here. But I have a hood dryer, and I just wheel it over here whenever I'm doing a deep conditioner on somebody or if they have color setting in, and I need that. So I just bring that in whenever I need it. But that is really everything that I have for doing here in my own house. So, um, again, it's really small. I wish I could have had an entire room, but we just don't have any extra rooms in this house right now. So, it's fine. It's, it works. Nobody ever complains about it. I think people are actually really impressed by the fact that I have a whole business going with this tiny little space. But I'm really proud of it, so I really like it. So, I just wanted to share that with you guys. So, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye! Bye!